This work really goes back even to the 1930s when people were doing work and sort of thinking about this idea about social influence. What I've tried to do in my work is to really bring that into education and try to help educators become aware of their connections and how those connections might support their action or even constrain them if the necessary relationships are not in place. We forget about the human relational capacity that has to be in place. We spend a lot of time thinking about the technical skills that are necessary. And while those technical skills are certainly important, knowledge, expertise, etc., are critical, we have to really also think about how that knowledge, expertise moves and connects through networks of people. The maps that I use to explore my world are ones of a social world. And so by illuminating these patterns that are sort of uh, often hidden, like we have relationships in our own lives and we have patterns of relationships, but we're not always aware of how interconnected and how interdependent we are. In a way, if we think about it, these maps help us to show the social infrastructure. We spend a lot of time talking about the infrastructure of buildings and, and capital projects but we often don't take the time to think about the social capital, right? That relationships and the strengths and the power in those relationships. So in a way, these maps are visualizing exactly that. They're visualizing our social relatedness, our social connections in a way that we can use them to make sense of our broader world and to do something really important. In my case, to really fundamentally help to transform education. So in the Department of Education Studies, we're really connected to extension in really deep ways. We have a shared mission around social justice and impacting the wider community. And it's through that collective action and collective effort that we're able to really help to start to move the needle in education here in the San Diego region. And so we spend a lot of time together talking, planning, while the students are with us, the teachers that are, folks that are learning to be teachers are with us in the department. When they graduate, often extension really helps to deepen their knowledge and deepen their learning in sometimes in very specialized ways, like around English language learners or gifted instruction. And I think the most important thing is we see ourselves as connected and not apart from each other, but a part of the same mission. And that's improving education in the San Diego region and actually beyond because the work at Extension goes far beyond just the San Diego region.